Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm very, very excited to have you here today, especially because I am shooting one of the most exciting videos that I put out every month. The one that I look, one of the ones that I look forward to the most, and that is the Thrifted Look for Less challenge for the month of July. I know I've got a lot of brand new subscribers and you may not be familiar with what the Thrifted Look for Less is. So what it is essentially is that a group of women here on YouTube, we get together and collaborate once a month. We find insp an inspiration photo it could be on Pinterest, Instagram, a catalog, whatever. And we take that inspiration photo for ourselves and we try and recreate it using things that we get at the thrift store. The challenge is always hosted by the lovely Barbara Jean from Age is Just a Number. Her channel is fantastic. She does everything from beauty, fashion, and then she has Wine Wednesdays where it's a live stream and she's cooking or just chatting. She's just a fantastic woman and I am so honored to be participating. Our co-host this month is Stacy from Stacy Leah Beauty. She is primarily a beauty content creator here on YouTube. So again, really, really excited to be participating in this month's challenge. And thank you very much, Barbara Jean and Stacy for hosting this month's challenge. We also put together a playlist so if you want to see what the other ladies have done for their challenge this month, then make sure to check out the playlist. I will have it linked for you here in the cards. I will also have it linked in the description bar as well as at the end of this video. I really, really love the Thrifted Look for Less challenge because it really pushes me to think about putting together outfits using garments that I have in my closet that I have thrifted. It really does provide great inspiration for me. It makes me think out outside the box and it helps me to bring together outfits that I might not normally have put together. I love this challenge for that particular reason. Not to mention the fact that it also proves that you don't need to spend a lot of money in order to look stylish. Which brings me to my next point. The Thrifted Look for Less challenge is not intended for us to create the looks and be identical 100%. The way that I approach the challenge is I take a look at the different style elements of the look that I have picked for my inspiration and I try and recreate those style elements. If I'm able to hit it, you know, and get an exact copy, um, then that's awesome. But really for me, the fun is in looking at the elements and bringing that together because I don't necessarily want to be a copycat. I just want to be inspired and that's how we approach it here. Not all of the things that I bring into the challenge sometimes are thrifted just because I've already got something that is similar to what I see in the inspiration photo. I don't need to go out and buy a, a something similar. I don't like having that type of redundancy in my closet. So just a disclaimer, sometimes these looks for me are not 100% thrifted, but I always, always, always focus on the key style elements and those are what I bring in from my thrifted garments. You also get an opportunity to score me on my look though, to let me know if I have managed to capture the essence of my inspiration photo or if I've completely missed the mark. So on a scale of one to 10, 10 being I got it, one being I missed it. So let me know in the comments down below, did I hit the mark or did I miss it? All right, let's go ahead and dive into the inspiration photo. By the way, if you are new to my channel, my name is Aralia. I am a personal stylist and the content that I provide here is all around style and fashion for the plus size woman. I am a firm believer that life is way too short to live without style. I generally post three times a week. I try to hit Wednesdays, Fridays, and Sundays. If my content resonates with you, then make sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you don't miss this type of content or anything else that I might post on my channel. If you are returning friend welcome back I'm very happy to see you again this month I wanted to 100% embrace my femininity so that's my thought process as I went in looking for inspiration and I came across this inspiration photo on Pinterest it was posted by a blogger the blog name is color and chic and what really caught my eye about this look was the lemon skirt. I love lemons. I love lemons on clothes. I think it is just so cute. It's so summer. It just really caught 
my eye and the look itself ticked all of the boxes. She did a really, really great job of um, styling this skirt. Now the skirt does have a stripe behind it and I like that as well. I love it when uh, patterns have a high contrast check or a high contrast stripe with some sort of a floral or botanical print on top of it. I think that that's really, really cool. And so this particular skirt has that element to it. Um, I love the way she paired this very, very feminine skirt with a somewhat masculine and utilitarian chambray button down shirt. That juxtaposition and the contrast that it creates in the look is really actually emphasizing the overall femininity of her look. So even though she's brought in something that was menswear inspired, it really makes the whole look look even more feminine. Love it. I love the fact that she also brought in a really nice handbag. The chambray shirt, of course, is treated as a neutral as you would like jeans or a denim skirt, but it's in a really beautiful blue color that contrasts beautifully with the yellow of the lemons in her skirt. She's also wearing a pair of somewhat bold pearl earrings and they are in a modern design so they're not they're not too matronly she's got something really nice that is bringing focus to her neck and her face love it the sunglasses i forgot my sunglasses in the car and i don't have time to run down and grab them so i've gone ahead and just omitted the sunglasses from my look the last thing i wanted to mention is the fact that she is wearing a pair of nude strappy heels now if you watched my video how to build curvy outfits i talk about having the hero or the statement piece and then you build your outfit around that and i believe that's what she's done here she's got a lot going on in the skirt and the a look overall so she has decided to completely neutralize her shoes they're nude they blend in with her skin you don't really see them and i think that's perfect here is how i recreated the look i don't have a lemon skirt I wasn't sure that I would even find a lemon skirt, but I do happen to have this beautiful, beautiful black and white rose graphic print skirt that I thrifted off of ThreadUp. This is a Talbot skirt. I absolutely love this skirt. It is so girly and so feminine. Plus what I like about my skirt is that it has got this, um, uh, embroidery anglaise, I think is what it's called. Um, and so it's kind of just like an open work embroidery that's at the bottom of my skirt and it's got a scallop edge, which screams femininity to me, not to mention the black and white rose print. There's just something that I love about a black and white floral. I think that it is very graphic in nature and I love it. I love it. Also, one of my most favorite things that I have thrifted and one of my most used garments that I have thrifted is my chambray shirt. I actually bought this chambray shirt for my very first thrifted look for less challenge well over a year ago. And I have worn this shirt non-stop. It is a Calvin Klein chambray shirt. The shirt I think I paid $7.99 for. The skirt I paid $16.99 for just so that you know we're keeping track of costs here. Those are the two thrifted things that I have brought into the look. I already have a pair of pearl earrings that are very very similar in look to the inspiration photo so I didn't feel the need to go out and buy more earrings and so I pulled out this pair of earrings that I got from Walmart last summer. They are pearl clusters, but they are in a circular shape. They have a really, really strong look and feel to the earrings in the inspiration photo. I also have a pair of strappy nude heels. I don't necessarily like that type of shoe that she's wearing because it has an ankle strap. I have thicker ankles, so I avoid ankle straps. And so instead I pulled out my, my nude Tanya heel from by far. I also have a gray bag that is similar in shape as well as color to the inspiration photo. Now this bag is a Kate Spade bag and I've had her for quite a few years and I thought that she was a perfect match for this look. In the inspiration photo, she is wearing some bracelets and such. I don't like wearing bracelets uh, myself, so I don't really have a whole bunch, but I do have my watch on. I have to say that this is probably my favorite thrifted look for less. 
outfit that I have pulled together. I can totally see myself wearing this in my day-to-day -day life. I am really super happy that I found this inspiration photo because I never would have thought to bring this skirt and this chambray shirt together like this. So now let's talk about price. Since I've brought in things that I already own, I'm not going to calculate them into the price because for me, it's all about what's thrifted. What has been thrifted in this look is the shirt and the skirt. So as I mentioned, the skirt is from ThreadUp. It's a Talbot skirt, $16.99. My chambray shirt was, I believe, $7.99. It's a Calvin Klein. Her chambray shirt was from J. Crew. They are listing a similar shirt at $89.50. Her skirt is no longer available. I was not able to find it any anywhere on the internet, but I was able to find a skirt similar to it at Saks Fifth Avenue. It's a collaboration with Amy Sung, and that particular skirt is selling for $595 right now. So we have got quite a price savings here, I think. Um, and I really, really like how it looks. I mean, in my opinion, I think I have captured the look, really, the essence of the look, I think I have definitely captured. So I'm really, really excited and happy that uh, I found this inspiration photo because I was able to bring this skirt and chambray shirt and all of the accessories together in a way that I might not have. So that's my thought on it. Now it is your turn to grade me. So yeah. here is the playlist for the other ladies that are participating this month. Thank you as always for watching. I truly appreciate you spending a few minutes of your day with me. Thank you so much. And remember to live your life filled with confidence, grace, and style. I will see you in my next upload. Bye.